Hi guys! So it is May 11th, and you might be wondering why we are wearing our Columbia parkas and scarves. And scarves. <laughs> we are actually on the ferry over to Napa Island. We are heading over to do a photo shoot with wedding gowns. We're super excited about that. And it is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, it's cool. I brought my winter hat. Look at that guy behind us. Okay, anyway. <laughs> We're actually under the Mackinac Bridge right now. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can kind of see. It's really cool. You can see. That's not cool. Yeah, nope. Can we see anything? Nope. Out to the bridge this morning. We are going to be picking up speed. We're arriving at our island dock in just about 10 minutes. We're just went right under the bridge. Sorry, it was a bad view for you guys. We got on the boat late, so we don't have a great seat. Yeah. <laughs> so we just wanted to check in. <laughs> yep, okay. Yep, lots of there. <laughs> Um, out of our whole entire staff, I feel like every single one of these wonderful women inspire me in so many ways. Um, I think the one I really truly connect with and have that connection with be, of course, Deborah Bide. Um, <laughs> she's my girl. We just have this connection, this bond, and she is honestly one of the best people I've met in my life just how she interacts with people, how she just connects. And one thing is, like, when I started talking to her, I feel like I've known her my whole entire life. And with the brides, they feel the same way. They have that connection with her. And she's such a huge inspiration to me. And I just love her dearly. And I do look up to her, especially not just driving sales, but more so in the sense of just who she is as an individual and how caring she is. And... She really won me over and she has won my heart. <laughs> Besides my family, because I work with, you know, my two nieces and my sister, it would probably be Siobhan. Mm -hmm. Because we kind of met each other at the right time. We've helped each other. She's had some problems and I've had some, and we've helped each other. So it's been Siobhan. Yep. Amanda <laughs> couldn't pronounce Deborah for some reason, so she called me B-Day. Mm -hmm. And so then when Amy was born, she called me, and everybody calls me B-Day. <laughs> Amanda couldn't also... Um, she couldn't say McDonald's, so she'd always go, B day, B day, Becca's, Becca's, Becca's. She's gonna kill me for saying this, but yeah. But the first day, right off the bat, um, we sat down, and I think we could talk for at least a good like hour and a half, and I just connected. But it was right like away. we've known each other forever, yeah. though, and that's made it really easy, hasn't mm -hmm. it? It has. I mean, because she's had issues, I've had issues, not with each other, but mm -hmm. our own, and we've kind of survive that way, haven't we? Yep. I mean, there's things that I've told you that I wouldn't be able to tell anyone else and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Because it's, you know, but we are, we're good friends. We are. I'm going to make you cry. <laughs> See, that was her goal. My, um, back in the day, my dad had a really bad drug problem. And that was something that we have worked on as a family and he no longer does drugs. But it was something that I emotionally still have issues with. Still having that person that I can feel comfortable talking to. Like my mom has been my all-time support. Both my parents now have. But it was nice to be able to kind of talk to someone who, who understands, who can kind of get that feeling and just comfort me. I like think, if I think I the more day. you go through in life, though, the more you have compassion. Yes. For, I, I just do. And yes. I can, I've been through a lot. And I know you have, too. Mm -hmm. One thing that you and I haven't, we haven't fought, 
just that one week where we didn't speak to each other, and neither one of us knew why. <laughs> it was so stupid. It was stupid. <laughs> so We'd walk by yeah. each other and turn our head. So I don't know what it was. We always, so we're very, we're the same person. Very sensitive. Very sensitive. You got to watch what we say, and anything can kind of set us off. It was so, a whole week we didn't even speak. No, and. We'd be straightening dresses, and I'd look over, and she'd look over, and I'd go. We're still kind of trying to figure it out. I think it was to the point where, um. Something happened. And we're stubborn. We're both stubborn. Yeah, too. we are. We are. So it's not like I would approach her and she would approach me and be like, "What's going on? We need to sort this out." So if I asked if everything's okay and she said yes, well, I finally went up to her and I, I said, <laughs> "Okay, what the hell's going on?" And then I was like, "I don't know." And she was like, "Well, I don't know." And so then, then we, we hugged. hugged. <laughs>